Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I have this beautiful, very simple makeup look. It's a soft glam perfect for a special day, so I hope you guys like it. So let's get started. Starting off with one of the most important steps for your makeup to look really nice is to add moisturizer. You have to hydrate your skin. The one I'm using is Sun Bum, and it has SPF 50, which is perfect. So that's something you want to apply every single day because you don't want the sun to damage your skin. So make sure you moisturize your skin, hydrate your skin. It's very important in order for it to look really nice, for the makeup to look really nice. Moving on, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Obviously, you can see this one is done. And I use the Rare Beauty. This one is the Brow Harmony Precision uh, Brow Pencil. I believe it's the darkest one they have. Yeah, it's pretty much black. Oh, it's soft black. And I'm just going to really quick fill in my eyebrows. I don't want them too, too dark. And this pencil is very creamy, very pigmented. So I always use a light hand and just try not to make them dark. Before I forget, I'm going to apply brow gel. I'm using the one from Wet n Wild, the Mega Clear Brow Gel. And you can see it should be clear, but I do use it often. It's one of the good ones. I really love it. Another one I love is the e.l.f. Cosmetics one. That one's also very affordable and very, very good. Normally, my eyebrows move throughout the day, and you don't want them to move for, like, your special day. So uh, make sure you put brow gel. A foundation that I've been loving, I've been wearing it a lot, so I know it's good throughout the day, is the Too Faced what's it called soft matte born this way soft matte oil control foundation i honestly love it the shade i use is golden beige and i like to apply it with a sponge i grab some from my hand and then like kind of remove the excess on a different spot of my hand and pretty much blend it out like spread it out on the sponge and then start applying it and tapping motions all over um, I just like to make sure that I don't have too much. I don't want to apply too much because I want my skin to still look like sin and not like very heavy with foundation. And that's one of the reasons why I love this foundation because it has great coverage and it doesn't feel my skin. It doesn't make my, feel, my skin feel heavy or like dry or anything. I just, I really, really love everything about this foundation. And just with that little uh, product that I got on the sponge is enough for like this part of my face. Never forget to also apply some on your neck because you don't want to see the foundation just like stop right there. You want to mix it in and blend it out really, really good. <laughs> and you can see the difference right there. It doesn't look heavy at all. My skin still looks like skin and it feels really good. I don't have anything on this side. And it was just like the little bit of product I had on the sponge. It's just a really great foundation. I just grabbed a little bit of the foundation with this flat brush from Anastasia. It's number 18. And I'm going to clean the top of my eyebrows with this. I grabbed whatever was left of the foundation with my sponge and I'm doing the same thing, pretty much like spreading it all over the sponge. And then I'm applying it on my forehead. I was gonna skip a uh, concealer, but I'm gonna put just a little bit under my eyes. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Concealer. I'm gonna blend it out with the same sponge from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I'm just going to apply some under my eyes, just a little bit, just a few dots, and I'm not gonna apply it on my forehead or chin. I just want this makeup to be a bit more natural, so I'm gonna skip everything else. I just want to brighten up my under eyes just a little bit, and that's why I love this foundation. Or the. Uh, uh, uh. Concealer. It has great coverage. You don't need too much product. And if you have dark under your eyes, this will cover it up really, really good. Like I said, without having to apply too much of the product. To set my under eyes, I'm going to be using this press powder from Too Faced. And again, the sponge from Off Cosmetics. I'm going to use a flat side of the sponge. You've got some of that powder and then just tap it under my eyes. First, I'm going to make sure everything is still nice and blended. The concealer hasn't moved, which sometimes it does move on the wrinkles right there, but I just like to use a sponge really quick and kind of remove the excess product and then really quick set it. I like to apply most of the product on that area right there where the wrinkles are, which is right under my eye. And then I apply uh, whatever's left on the brush or the sponge, which is not a lot, but I apply it like down here. And then just really quick, I like to grab a big brush and then just grab some of that same pressed powder and tap it on the rest of my face to set the foundation. I don't need too much on the face. I just don't want the foundation to stay creamy. Um, so this will just set it really good. And I'm not grabbing a lot. I'm literally just grabbing a little bit, just tapping it on there and then putting it all over my face. 
For the bronzer, I'm going to be using this one from Dundas Beauty, and this is a brush I'll be using. I honestly don't know where it's from. I just stole it from my sister a long time ago, but you can see that it's not too big and it's not too small. It is angled and very fluffy. Um, so this is a perfect, well for me, I feel like it's perfect blush or brush for the bronzer. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of this, take the excess powder off, and you can see I already have it on this side right here. And I don't want too, too much. So what I like to do is apply it in tapping motions right here. You can see your natural shadows, especially if you go like this. And that's where you want to apply the foundation, the foundation, the bronzer. And then do not apply it lower than that because it's gonna look weird. It's gonna make like this, like your cheeks be like, look very thick. And you don't want that, want that. So just, I like to apply it right here. And then once most of the product is here, I start blending it out going down to here, but not too much because then that's going to look weird. So I kind of stop like right here, but it has to be very nice and blended. And then I blend it up like towards my temple and then towards my uh, under eye, but not, not too much. It just has to be nice and blended. And then since I have a big forehead, I like to apply the foundation all over my forehead, literally from here to here to give it that illusion of a small forehead. So not everyone has to do it like this. Obviously, if you want to, just go ahead. But it just depends how you have your forehead. Um, you might have a smaller forehead than mine, so maybe you just need it like on the sides or just on this part right here. Or, you know, it just depends how, uh, how you have your forehead. But like I said, my forehead is big. So I need it all over. And then just make sure the tone is even. You know, you don't want it darker on your forehead than your cheekbones. Uh, just make sure it's even and blend it out really nice. For the blush, you can see I already have it on this side right here and I use the She Glam Good Vibes blush and I'm going to apply it with the Anastasia A22 brush. And I like to smile and apply it right here. Once most of the product is on this part right here, I start blending it out like this, up towards like the corner of my eye kind of like a C, and then just blend out the edges. You don't want any harsh lines at all. And then also do not blend it out too uh, low because then that's gonna look weird. So just smile and just apply it on the apples of your cheeks and then start blending it out. This is one of my favorite blush tones for my skin tone. I just really love how this looks. It's a little more like orange than pink. And I really love this. Before I start with the eyeshadows, I'm going to set everything. And I don't know if you guys have seen my videos, but I have mentioned this primer from Elf Cosmetics Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. I have been using it for a while, so I know it does work. I just love how the makeup looks and it makes the makeup last all day. And lately, once setting it with the setting spray, I like to grab my sponge and just really quick go over it and kind of blend everything together. Make sure the, the, the setting spray is just even all over the face. I do it very lightly using a wet sponge. And then just to make sure everything is set really good, I just like, why not just go over the setting spray one more time. And then I just let this dry. Before I start with the eyeshadows, I am going to clean the bottom of my eyebrows using the concealer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. The flat brush is from Anastasia number 18. And this is a step I always do, whether I do eyeshadows or not, I always like to clean the bottom of my eyebrows. It's not important for eyeshadows. It's just part of like my eyebrow routine. The only time I skip this step is when I only have like five minutes to do everything, like all my makeup. Um, I do skip this step, but most of the time I clean the bottom of my eyebrows just because I like how they look. I'm going to be using the same concealer as a primer for my eyeshadow so I'm gonna add a little more on my eyelid and I'm gonna blend it out with the same sponge from elf cosmetics and tapping motions until everything is nice and blended and if you don't clean the bottom uh, uh, the bottom of your eyebrows uh, just blend out the concealer as close to your eyebrows as you can for these gorgeous eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette from Too Faced, Born This Way Sunset Stripped. First, I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow right here using a small brush from uh, Profusion number ES6. And I'm going to apply this on the outer part of my eye, uh, just on my eyelid. I want most of the product right there, but I am going to start blending it out towards the center. That's why I want the eyeshadow to be nice and blended, uh, not on the inner part at all. And I also want this to go above my crease, that way it's visible when I'm looking 
looking straightforward and it's not just on my eyelid so I'm gonna keep looking up and start blending it up like uh, moving it up towards my eyebrows and it's gonna be very easy to blend out even though we're uh, applying it on top of the creamy concealer because it's a very light shade so it's gonna be super easy just use a light hand use the same brush just make sure you don't have too much product on the brush where you're blending it out and then I'm also going to apply that same eyeshadow on my lower lash line from the inner corner to the outer corner and I'll be applying a few layers just to make sure the the tone is even and it's like a bit more visible then I'm gonna grab the shimmery eyeshadow and apply it on my eyelid with my finger I'm gonna start by applying it on the inner part of my eye and it shimmers and it glows so so pretty I feel like this tone is perfect for quinceañera or a bride it's just very light but it shimmers so pretty and together with a matte eyeshadow on the outer part of the eye it just looks very simple very pretty of course I want this eyeshadow to also be blended out so I want it blended out on the outer part of my eyelid and then also above my crease just with my finger without having too much product on my finger I go over the edges just to make sure it's nice and blended like it looks very soft and mixed well with the matte eyeshadow like I said I want to keep this very simple so I am curling my lashes and I'm not going to apply fake eyelashes to curl my lashes so I can be nice and curled like this I like to turn the or like lift the eyelash curler as I'm still pressing very lightly that way it's like curled up really nice as curled as possible of course you can go ahead and apply your fake eyelashes but i wanted you guys to see how this makeup is also really really nice with just your natural lashes no need for fake lashes to make it look complete or make it look pretty it's still it also looks really very pretty like this and more simple and of course i always recommend waterproof mascara so you don't get any smudging throughout the day now to complete this makeup i'm going to apply the same mascara on my lower lashes just one layer and i'm not going to apply anything on my waterline like no eyeliner anything because I just want to keep this very simple and like I said I honestly think this makeup is perfect for a quinceañera for a bride it's very simple and na well not natural but just like simple not too many steps not too many products it's super cute not dramatic at all so if you were looking for a makeup like this I really hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope you liked this look let me know what you guys think in the comments below and please share this video with your friends and your family if you did like it thank you all so much for your love and your support I love you and I will see you in my next video video. Bye!